So guys, it's time for another full Kong Question 1939 normal mode. Today we're gonna dive into the last three starter that is still missing for our series, and this is the Italy Conquest. Start, uh, we already started, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, you know this. And yeah, just enjoy. So, last time, by the way, with the Conquest, there was a little technology problem because the microphone was kind of, yeah, doing what it wanted. I don't know, but <coughs> this time with the audio commentary as usual. And by the way, thank you that you all voted in the community. It was very helpful for me to improve my content and yeah, just continue to do so. And yeah, we already have deployed some air or if you want technology generals or what you want to call it eco gens and yeah we're now gonna start the main plan i think is we're gonna deploy here in europe let him clear everything out and then go over to america while channels and data are gonna clear out the soviet front with air attacks with yamashita's help maybe konev is also gonna assist in the west and maybe Roma in Africa. And yes, Yamaguchi maybe on the Navy who's going to assist and then go to the US and maybe with Darlin. Yeah, we're going to see. Duran is down on the M26 project. just gonna start bulldozing the French in Africa. The main problem is still the British thing, but... But we're already starting to make progress. So that's the point. Gear starts bombarding Marseille. And quickly overroll Yugoslavia. Okay, some technology missing for the Egypt from the Wales, but okay. Yeah, Egypt's gonna be just gonna get navy steamrolled. Maybe we send Yamaguchi first to Egypt to like do some damage there, take up, make everything open, and then go to the US. That's maybe also the plan. Keep this in mind. Okay, Dempsey goes down. I'm sorry, the quality is at some points kind of a little bit low. But I'm gonna fix this in the future, so I'm still the rice, so yeah, we're gonna see. Jugas Levy goes down. Nice, Yamaguchi in Egypt. Alexandra goes down. This is annoying, they spam a bunch of infantry, but our attack is just much higher, that's the point. So it's useless for them. Yeah, I'm still thinking kind of how we're gonna do it, but Yeah, we're just gonna open something up here. Look at this, Cairo is not gonna hold for long, Yabaguchi is coming. I'm 
gonna steam our grease as soon as possible. Lyon goes down. Yeah, France is just getting completely steamrolled, which is quite funny. We're gonna slowly but truly grab everything in Africa and so on, you know. Bordeaux goes down. We're marching on Paris. The only thing annoying, you know, so it's, I think it's more fun to play the Axis countries. But it takes so long until you get to America and then over all the way and yeah, this this is so annoying, you know, so By the way, Egypt goes down um, It's annoying so But okay And what do you want to do about it? Deploying the Richelieu, which I actually never used until now. Kind of on the priest. Now at level five. Nice. We start steamrolling. Systematically annihilate the French Navy. Yeah, Kuznetsov near is just going to completely annihilate it. Continue to see more Greece and slowly send channel to the east. Yamashita yeah, goes on the Hawkeye. So I first thought maybe I could use Bastika for the east, but then I remembered like heavy tanks, they are just too slow. The mobility is just not enough. Athens goes down with Greece. We're just now steamrolling Africa. This is just fun. Capture our port in this hell. Okay. I love the M7 piece. So in the beginning, I thought, oh, what a lame, small artillery. Denmark goes down. Um, but. Like, yeah, now I'm seeing the power. It's much more powerful than the B4, I think. So, if you upgrade the B4, of course, that, that, that's another point. But at this point, it's definitely much stronger. And you get much more fragments through the events. Like, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult to say. Donetsk goes down. We 
retake the port in Africa. Our tomb goes down. Time to go for Yon. Nice. Soon, whole of Africa is in our hands. Let's check out the Japanese front. Okay, French still have some territory, but it's not looking too bad. Okay, now we're ready to steam World Great Britain. And from there, Conan's gonna immediately go to America. Belgium goes down. British landing craft is getting destroyed. Poland goes down. Time to celebrate. Netherlands go off the map. Nice, Dublin goes down. Nice, the French Navy in the Mediterranean is annihilated to the last ship. And this Soviet destroyer will not survive for long. We're gonna quickly go for Stalingrad. I have to take the mask as by the way. I'm just gonna hunt down all the units. Some Indian ships are coming in, we should block the channel. The Suez Canal. Nice. Africa is nearly completely in our hands now. One more city remaining in French hands, and then I'm gonna take down Liberia, which will not be liberate anymore. Okay, time for the next one. The whole part of Ireland goes down. Could you understand the crossing now? Attack Stalingrad. Okay, and then north the Germans are just bulldozing, I think. Nice. Look at this mass rolling towards this one French crapper, whatever village. It does not even have a name. This is ridiculous. Like, why didn't they give every city a name? So, this is ridiculous. So, you know, okay, I understand if the names are kind of too long. But, yeah, you should give the cities a name. Nice. Turn it over to America. It's not gonna blast open everything. Okay, we're gonna launch a small operation airstorm for Kujak. Good is ready to land. Noah will survive for probably quite long. Yamaguchi yeah, is on the way to America with Ricardi. Nice! The whole of Africa is under our control except for Liberia, who we're gonna take down immediately. I'm gonna go for Sana 2. Nice, the Indian general gets sniped and yeah, their counterattack is immediately annihilated and now the Germans are also making progress towards Leningrad. Let's see. Mm. 
Round 14. Ottawa will soon fall. Kujak goes down. I don't know how to pronounce it. Kujak? Kujua? I don't know. Ask the French or the indigenous people what. I don't know who invented this name, but it's funny. Kujak? Nice. Katrina arrived in Britain and it's just devastating. They continue their journey towards America. These Indian ships are just... In the beginning I planned to only set up a blockade, but now we just destroy their ships. And we're moving towards Liberia. Send some troops to take the ports. Leningrad goes down. Still smashing the Canadian transports. Now, Liberia, you can shit off. Transport. Nice to take down our city. Channel is now sniping. Channel is sniping through Saratovastana in the city. Tana is by the way the capital of Kazakhstan, for those who didn't know. Okay, Konev is now devastating. And the Japanese are not doing too badly. Minsk gets sniped. Toronto goes down. Canada's not get just getting food as they I don't know if we even gonna need Guderian because now Yamaguchi's arriving, then they're gonna blast up the coastline, move into the country, and take everything down. Manchester goes down. London is our heavy fire, we'll fall next turn. And then we're gonna see. Our British submarine, the channel goes down. And our force is landing. Sanaa goes down. And look at Liberia, bulldozed, eliminated. They should add this feature in the normal conquest tree that if a country is eliminated, that you show it. 
Like they don't show it in all the conquests. This is trash. But okay. Okay, we're gonna move on to China. London goes down. Another Canadian submarine gets hunted. New York is now firmly under attack. a stable position now. Africa is taken, we're taking over Saudi Arabia and after this China is in the pocket and then Soviet Union is collapsing and the United States are getting invaded. Very nice. They're gonna continue their march east. Yamshi is going down to take down India. Okay, Yamaguchi's here. New York is opened. New York is down. Navy on the way. Navy on the way. The British are just getting completely bulldozed down. And another annoying point in the conquest, you have to take all the British cities and Australian cities in the far, far south east. This is so annoying. You know, you know that you win the conquest, but you have to still spend like in half an hour to do this shit. I think it's kind of time to take down Norway some, somehow. Okay, let's snipe Novosibirsk, Yekaterinburg, and Uliastai. Channel sniping. Moscow's getting encircled. Thailand goes down. Damn. We don't care. We are a great Italy. We don't care about a shitty Thailand. I think we're not gonna need good urine in America. Still so can send them, but I think we're not gonna need them. I start taking an Eisenhower now. Eisenhower goes down. Yeah, Ricardo, the end of the destroyers, ready to take on Miami. Nice, the way to India is opened for the Navy. New Delhi is now in great danger of getting taken.
Actually, I think we should move challenges Saratov and let him just bombard on Moscow. That, by the way, let's change his mobility from the infantry ribbon to the armored ribbon. And now we can continue because he can just move quicker, of course. Okay, let's look at the map. So I have to take down Oslo. Dune starts his crossing. Washington goes down. Our navy is arriving in India. New Delhi goes down. Moscow goes down, nice. Very, very nice stuff for the Italians. Super nice. We are all happy. You're just bulldozing the rest of the best. Time for the next round. Round number whatever. I don't care. Oslo goes down with it, Norway. I'm gonna take down Sweden. Shitty Sweden. Because we kind of have too many resources. Sweden goes down. Miami goes down. I'm gonna start taking down this fortification as Eric is saying, which is annoying. Nice. Nice, we take the British processions in Saudi Arabia. Just gonna now march. We take the city east of Moscow. Operation Airstorm is launched onto China. Yangon goes down. Hanoi goes down. We can take the Indian possessions here and of course the French so that we can finally annihilate them. Nice, Bangkok goes down. Just a matter of ear sniping now. Singapore and Sumatra is down. The British are not going to survive for long, that's for sure.
Round 22. Simmons gets one shot at. Time for another air sam. France goes down! France goes down! France goes down, down, down! This was weird. The ROC goes down. India is not going to survive for long. Exceptionally, if the British send a super, super, super troop, this is just a joke. This is not challenge conquest. Challenge conquest like when you think you defeated the country, they spawn like seven generals in a row, and you are like, oh my god, and then your best general dies, Mongolia goes down. Um, and they're like, oh no, I thought I was winning, and then you restarted the conquest. Congratulations! Can I air snipe the Philippines? And take this British port, I think. Okay, let's see how we're gonna bring this down. Turnip is gonna go to Chicago. The Great Lakes are kind of completely misplaced on this map, but you know, easy tag and maps. Yeah, this this is a topic for itself. There are some really nice videos on YouTube about Easy tag and errors in their maps in all games and World Conquer 4 maps are just weird. You know, they, I like the game, but the maps are just completely, completely trash. Completely trash. Nice, now the city goes down, channel on the move. Let me think for a moment about the tactic. I think. Um, yeah, kind of just gonna take Chicago. And then I, I'm thinking, like, if we get level 7, then we get the ballistic technology. But before that, I don't know how much air step we want to use. I'm sorry for that. What, wait, wait, Th this, this was, this was an error. I didn't want to deploy the Brandon Burgers there. But no one cares, the bombers are not going to take down Britain strongholds one after another. Mm, I love the sound. Just hear the sound, the sound is nice. This sound is even better. Ah, read right, that too. Zero the cities. Two, three, Great Britain goes down. United Kingdom is annihilated. And India is gonna follow suit as the crown jewel of the British Empire. Time for air snipe, air snipe, air snipe. Okay, we still have to demolish the Soviets. Yakutsk. 
Jakutsk. Kadirian lands, but I think really we are not gonna use him. Why should we? We don't have the necessity to do so. Alright. Let's continue. Um, let me think. They kind of to the north is better, not to the south. Alright. Um, so, you know, like, if, if, if he, if I take the city by air force, so, really, this, this is always my problem, so, should I wait for the missiles, or now use wood? Because I don't have my air force generals here. This is a point to think on. This is why I thought here for so long, but I don't care. I am good, she's gonna take down the US Navy. Or let's say the remainders of the US Navy. Kruger goes down. Yakuts goes down, the port is targeted. General on the move, the Soviet Union is completely demolished. The, the demolishment of the Soviet Union will just completely demolish the USA and after the demolishment of the USA we're gonna demolish the Canadians and demolish the Australians. That's the plan. Or how, how Stalin would say, demolish them all. Port Morsby goes down. So have to take Midway and uh, Hawaii. Soviet Union is not going to survive for long. We take parts of Alaska. We're on the move and the Soviets are going to fail in as well. These U.S. Yeah, Gudrun's gonna have to take down the remaining fortresses, which are kind of annoying. Air snipe the Soviets! Air snipe the Soviets! Boom! The Soviets go down! Remaining is the US, of course, the Canadians, and then Australia. I'm waiting for the missile technology. Because look at this, this takes us way too long. Let's change a little bit in the cities. This is funny. Actually, it isn't. Let's try the bombers. This is like... Uh, Sounding like if you hit the drums. I think this is not how torpedoes sound, but okay. Let's see if I'm main carrier limits. What were the main carriers of the time, by the way? Enterprise, Lexington, Hornet? There were more. Georgetown? Uh, do we have more? I think this is it. Hornet, Enterprise, Lexington, and Georgetown. Should be everything. The drums are again setting. Nice. The port Morsby port goes down. Do you think it's nice to take down the remaining fortifications there?
नेक्स्ट ओके टाइम टू गो फॉर एडमिशन I am waiting for the missile technology. Missile technology. Missiles. 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 I want missiles. Sadly, I don't have a channel in the area where I have to use the missiles. But okay, it's gonna take a bit longer. Arnold gets decimated. Arnold gets decimated. The Air Force general gets completely annihilated by the Air Force. Kawhi goes down. Come on, next round. Missile technology is out. Missile technology is out and the satellite technology is out. Missile solo, let's go. how Canada just gets reduced to nothing. Canada goes down. Only US. USA goes down too and now Australia is gonna get decimated by the missiles. Lemmy goes down. Brisbane opened. I'm gonna switch a bit in between Twin Cities. Nice. And here is the end of the whole conquest, I think. Australia goes down and boom. No, just a joke. There's some something missing. India. But they're not gonna resist. Take them down. Boom! We finished the conquest. Please enjoy this content. Just like subscribe to my channel. We want to read more subs, of course. Check out my other videos, check out the community, write in your comments and criticism, uh, vote in community, of course, nothing more to say, out for today.